Hey everybody, my name is Jason. I got Timothy Turry right over there. Welcome to Game Informer's GI Live, otherwise known as Two's Play. Don't don't tell anyone that though. It's secrets. Anyway, how you guys doing? Uh, we're going to be playing a little Dead Island Riptide. Riptide. If you guys have not noticed, we are missing Reiner. He's uh, upstairs doing something uh, cool. He's watching something awesome. But yeah, he gonna, is. He's going to be by. In about not even I can see it. About a half hour or so. But uh, in the meantime, Tim is uh, going to be showing off some of the, uh, the single player campaign. Uh, let's switch to his stuff right there. So who's this dude right here? Hey, so uh, we're looking at Logan. He's another one of the carryovers from the last Dead Island. So the original four survivors from Dead Island are back. Uh, this guy throws things. This is actually the dude that I reviewed um, the original game with. Like, this is the guy I was playing, and he's not great. Uh, he's a former football star, and so he throws items. Um, I ended up losing a lot of those items, and that, wasn't for that was a very unfortunate uh, side effect of playing as that jerk. So skip this guy. My suggestion is skip this guy. Uh, she's a firearm expert. Um, I would say also skip her because there's not that many firearms in the game. Where the real money is, is Xi'an. She's awesome. You can cut people's arms off. She's a blades expert, blah, blah, blah. Uh, she's got a cool skirt, uh, fun tie. Also, I want to point something out to anyone that's watching this right now. Uh, so she's wearing something around her neck. Uh, I think that he has something around his neck. He has dog tags on, and he has a necklace too. Don't wear necklaces during the zombie apocalypse, guys. That's the easy grab point for zombies, all right? Don't do that. Um, you'll thank me later. Sam B is a blunt weapons expert. I'd say from the original game, both Sam B and Xi'an are good choices. Uh, he's also a rapper that sings the uh, Who Do You Voodoo Bitch song, um, very famous. My favorite, though, between both games is John. If you're picking up Rip Riptide, um, John is by far my favorite character in the series so far. One, he has awesome Wolverine claws. Two, uh, well, I guess I can just start a character My and I can show you rather than telling you about it. Um, other cool thing is, if you're not importing a character from the first game, you can either like have these automatically set up skill trees or do custom, and you get 15 skill points right away, 14 I guess, to uh, to allocate however you want. Um, so you can like do a pretty deep dive into your skill tree right away, um, or into all your skill trees to see what you like. So. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to skip these cutscenes, though. But well, do you guys want to see him? Do you guys want to see the cutscenes? This is a little bit of a recap from the first game. So, Did we get to uh, hear the Who Do You Voodoo Bitch song in the intro? Or I, no? I don't think there is any Who Do You Voodoo Bitch. Then I don't care. Let's skip him. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of skips. All right, we're skipping. So let me set it up for you. Uh, if you watched the uh, the test chamber, you've already seen this part of it. But... Um, so they escaped the previous, so spoilers, obviously, you're watching the live stream of the sequel to a game that came out, uh, you know, two years ago. Um, but the, uh, the thing is here, they escaped from uh, the original islands and got up in the helicopter, and then they run out of fuel and they land on a naval ship, and um, they're kind of like taken prisoner because they're um, immune, and that makes them uh, VIPs. And when they come to, the, uh, the ship has, lo and behold, succumbed to a zombie outbreak. And you have to get your way off the ship and try to right the wrongs. And um, John, the character, was already in the brig because uh, he's a ragamuffin. Um, he's a part of the army, but uh, that's, that's who I am right now. So immediately, I'm going to kick things off by just diving right into the menus and allocating my skills. Um, so there's three skill trees. Um, I'm going to beeline down this middle one. I recommend it. And always pump one point into um, Fury, because uh, that unlocks Fury, which is like your rage mode or whatever. Uh, and then what I do is focus on durability. Boom, boom. This will only take a second, guys, I promise. And uh, hand, hand damage, because that's what he is all about. This is, this is the money right here. The, yeah. This is big boot. This is what you want. Not only can you, um, someone just said ship got just got real. That is, that's great. Um, this is what you want because it lets you like just stomp on zombies' heads, which is just like an instant kill when they're on the ground, uh, which saves weapon durability and ammo later on. So you're gonna want that. Uh, yeah, that's that's absolutely marvelous. Um, I usually pump one skill in over here, and then let's see here. There's an uppercut. I'll show that off. Um, 
and oof, kick damage. I'm gonna kick a lot, guys, so I'm just pumping the rest into kicks. You're gonna see so much kicking. Um, all right, let's give this a go. I better head topside, get my bearings. Okay, they're opening. They're opening the doors. All right, Looks here like we go. Looks like the crew already bailed. Uh, obviously, you can tell that John is of Australian um, descent, so he has a cool accent that is rarely annoying. Um, I I don't tend to get sick of Australian accents, and I worked at an Outback Steakhouse for like nine years, and um, sometimes people would ask me to fake an accent, and either I would or I wouldn't, depending on how cool they were. Um, but you know, the food was good, and uh, the tips were good. So sometimes you do things for money when you're younger, like do Australian accents, and you know, you just try not to regret it. Find a weapon. Uh, much like I don't regret um, picking up this crowbar because now I can go through this door. Um, you're on a ship, so the door the doors are really fancy. Okay, bottom on the D-pad turns on your flashlight for those playing along at home. Um, there's a detailed tutorial, but you can use my word for. Uh, your, your lesson here. So we're in the engine room right now. Okay. So we're losing power in the engines, uh, which is bad for the ship because I'm not really sure. I uh, definitely uh, have never, never, never even steered a boat at all. Piloted a boat? I don't know. Um, but I hear the engines are important, so we're going to beeline that way. I think it blows up right now. Something bad's going to happen. Uh, potty mouth. Okay, there we go. Actually, speaking of potty mouths, I should probably pop on subtitles for people. Um, just so you can imagine his, his beautiful Australian accent in your head. So, Oh, they are on. Oh, I guess you don't hear his little commentaries. Okay. Um, yeah, I've never never flown a boat. I've never ate a boat. Uh, these are all great comments. Um, oh, I also want, I want to point something else out. When you enter this room, oh my god, the engine's on fire. All right, well, uh, what do I do? Oh, fire extinguisher. Good. All right, I'll just... All right, okay. That doesn't do anything. So just deny all of the basic instincts that you've had socialized into you since you were in kindergarten. Walk past the fire extinguisher and, and move on, okay? Um, it doesn't work. It just doesn't, sorry. All right. <clears throat> Watch med kit. Uh, this is the turn off fire button. Good. All right. All right. The way should be clear. Uh, yes, the fire extinguisher was a red herring, according to Razor Bits. Very good point, because uh, it was also red. So um, that's a, it's a, it's a good observation, actually. It also shoots out fish. It does shoot out fish. If you beat the game once and come back through, uh, you can't get hit at all uh, during that playthrough. Um, and uh, they, this this fire extinguisher will shoot out fish. Um, it's weird. I don't, don't know. All right. Me. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to use my kick. It's left bumper, I think, if I remember right. Okay. Yes. Look at that guy go. Oh, I love uh, it. Okay. Here, here's another one. So you can just do this. Look at that. He lost his arm just because I kicked him. This I just started this character. And I'm already kicking them into walls. And then his head burst off as I kicked him into the wall. And you can just do that the entire game. That, that never gets old. Hold on, get back on the ground. OK. And then, of course, this is a great move. OK. And I just want to wanna reiterate, this game is like 12 to 15 hours, something like that, if you don't do a ton of side quests. I ran at and kicked almost every zombie I encountered. There's some that are so big that you can't really do that. But um, anyone that could, I, I, would, I would do that too. Um, and it's it's I've a good got to time. Find a way out of here. Okay, this guy's alive. I also recommend kicking almost any zombie on the ground that you come across. Basically, this is really just all about kicking zombies, this entire game. The first game was also about kicking zombies, but uh, they've really fleshed that out here, so. Um, all right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm back in the uh, in this room. I don't want to be here. I think I want to go this way. Oh, also, one heads up is you're picking up a lot of crap. Um, if you've played Bioshock or Skyrim or whatever, all those games where you're just looking at things and, and picking them up, that, that happens a lot in this game. So uh, get ready for that. Also, I'm going to do my best to try to field uh, 
people's questions or comments in the uh, the chat room, but uh, it's just me right now, so it, it might get a little uh, tricky because there's a zombie attack on this damn boat, and I gotta deal with this. It's part of my job, all right. Get this, get this step on his head. Scott G asked me what my favorite weapon in the game is. That is definitely the Wolverine claws that you can get. Uh, and I modded them so that they would uh, have bar barbed wire on them. Um, turns out Wolverine claws with barbed wire uh, combined with this kick is a really good time. Look at him! Okay, that was really satisfying. Uh, I also have like this uppercut move. Let's see if I can... Hold on. No, I didn't do it. I don't think I bought the uppercut. I invested in the kicks, that's right. Is he wearing a muscle suit? Muscle suit? Yeah, I think so. I thought I saw a zipper in the front. So, like my, my big question right now is, uh, uh, the vending machines, are they operational? Uh, I assure you these vending machines are fully armed and operational. That is important. Good. Uh, no, it's not at all. Damn it! Um, let's see if I can Duke Nukem one out of there. Nope, it's not happening. Sorry. Yeah, this is definitely the best boot in a game since Bulletstorm. Um, I'd say. Before that, Duke Nukem, I, I'm guessing? Let's see. Striker asked if they added any new weapon elements into the game. Uh, I'm assuming you mean like elemental powers, like poison or um, electricity or fire. Um, no, not that I noticed. It's most of the same ones, but uh, there's still so many options that you can play through the game once and not see all the, the different weapon mods available uh, in one playthrough. And the thing is, is that like you're going to get favorites and stuff. Oh man, I'm getting tired. Um, okay, let me just cut these zombies' butts up here. All right. Is everyone dead? Everyone? You? Okay. Oh, looks good. Someone wants to see your face, Jason. Let's see what I can do here. It's Ligar2000. I, which I, I cover I up Tim's name, but... Howdy, guys. That's me. And now, I'm going away. Um, Vic Raptor asked me if uh, it's worth buying or uh, or what, or if it's worth a rent. Um, my general philosophy is uh, try it out if you can, and if you have that available to you, and then buy it if you like it. Um, you now this game's uh, slightly cheaper than, uh, from what I understand, it's the fifty dollars from retail, forty dollars on PC. I may be wrong on that, so I would double check it. That sounds right. Um, but uh, you know, it's already it's already. A bargain. Personally, what I would say, uh, if you're really on the fence about this one, and this guy's uh, sprinting kicks of amazingness um, aren't a selling point enough, I would say go ahead and um, try out the original first, which you can probably get for cheap right now. Um, and if you haven't played the original and you want to get a sense of what Dead Island is all about, just go for it, because this game is mostly more of the same, even with like some more bugs than I encountered in the original. So I want to kick that guy far. There we go. So Blazing Raven in the chat asked, uh, when will community play start, Tim? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's, there was some of that slowdown I was talking about. Um, the, uh, the community play will start when Reiner gets down here. He has everyone's gamer tags that uh, the people that are going to be playing with us. Um, so he'll come in, he'll join us, we'll take a, 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 a little pause session, and then we'll, uh, we'll get some people involved in here. Does anyone know what kind of uh, what characters they're planning on playing, or what uh, what is the uh, the popular choice? Look at that slowdown. I think you uh, pretty much sold everybody in Wolverine. There. If and honestly, like if it is just a bunch of people running around as John Morgan, I'm fine with that. Let's do that. What's the worst glitch you've come across, Tim? Worst glitch would be when I was playing online with a couple friends and Jeff Markifava, and Jeff Markifava had to leave, and uh, that's Jeffum for you folks that don't know Jeffum's last name. Um, and he had to take off. And when he dropped out of the game, the entire thing got fuzzy. We all died, like, in some invisible fire. And it just started, like, this infinite loop of death. I mentioned it in my review. Oh, wow. That it could only be stopped after we uh, restarted it. And we, we lost some of our, uh, our main items and stuff. And there's so many good weapons in the game that, like, losing your primary isn't, like, the worst deal in the world. But um, it still sucks. Uh, doesn't happen that often, thankfully. But that, that weird death loop that we got sucked in, that vortex, was probably oh, nice. the worst. Was he the party leader or anything? Or? Uh, no, he wasn't no. even the party leader. It was just some weird thing. Um, oh, and here's the situation. So usually you don't get guns this early on. They throwing them at you just to kind of spice things up in the, the early game, I think, here. Um, and I'm going to go and edit my inventory so I have access to that pistol. Um, there we go. So yeah. Yeah, it was uh, that 
that was a rough a rough glitch but um people i've talked to other people that have played the game haven't ran into it yet um so hopefully you don't either that's the other thing like you know if you read reactions to the original uh that island also there was a lot of people it was like really case by case whether or not people would see they'd play these long you know 20 plus hour playthroughs of the game and some people would see tons of glitches and some people would make it through without seeing any so um hopefully if you do decide to play the game it's a smoother run through than i had but um even that i, I still had fun despite that so Captain Bruzen asked, are there any improvements to existing character skill trees? The, it's not so much improvements. All the skill trees, like, let's say you played Sam B in the original game. Um, all the skill trees are identical. They have been some additions. Um, the big additions, I can actually show you real quick, uh, are like, will be something like this. Um, like a group fury buff or something. Uh, basically group abilities that uh, are sort of like this aura effect. Um, everyone has this new ability, which is sort of like a charge move. It's like a weaker version of that charge kick I do. Um, so there's been a couple of expansions there. So it's something to look forward to. If you have your Dead Island character that you import and he's maxed out, um, there's some stuff to do, but uh, it's it's not overwhelming. Somebody uh, mentioned in the chat that the slowdown is for cinematic purposes, not the fr not a frame rate drop. Uh, some of them are. There are some of them are cinematic. Uh, some of them. Um, Usually the the last enemy you kill, right? Usually. Yeah. Also, there is a certain thing is like when uh, sometimes the cinematic thing works in like a God of War or something like that, but other times uh, it just looks ugly. Uh, and sometimes it's hard to tell what is cinematic and what is supposed to be, um, uh, what is actually just a, a glitch. Uh, and that was a really hard distinction sometimes. Sometimes the slowdown thing looked cool. Uh, other times it's distracting and annoying. And so. how does that work in a multiplayer game? Usually in multiplayer games they'll take off like bullet time effects or... Oh man, I don't, I don't recall that. Okay. Um, but we, I, I still did definitely have frame rate issues in in multiplayer, um, which I think were independent of like that final kill flourish. Yeah, shoot this guy in his head. All right. Yeah, no, it's not there. All right. So someone, uh, Robot Panda, good name, uh, asked me what the uh, the new character's like. He's a beast. Um, you'll see Robot Panda specifically. Everyone close their eyes. Um, this is Robot Panda. You're going to want to look at this this running kick I do to these enemies. Uh, and that is the, the meat of the experience to me. Um, I never get sick of that. Actually, okay, I'll show his, fur his fury. Here we go. All right, so he takes out this kendo stick thing and can take out crowds of zombies like that. Awesome. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's some of that, that slowdown. Um, and so that's pretty satisfying, especially when you get huge groups of, of enemies, so. Yeah. Uh, Rafton, thanks us for doing the live stream. Thank you for watching. You These are, are fun to do. Yeah. Jason's really, I just come down here and play. Jason's the guy that does all the work getting these set up. Um, okay, so getting back to the story, um, there's rocks involved. Uh, there's sliding, that guy got killed by a box. Um, so lots of boxes and rocks, and the guy just took off on the only helicopter, uh, the bad guy or something. And now I have an assault rifle, and there's more zombies coming. Uh, Mickey asked if I can use his Wolverine claws. I don't have any yet. I'll probably get some within this test or this live stream. I almost call it a test chamber, but um, yeah, I don't have them yet. So that's a big clump of dudes. Is there any friendly fire whatsoever? Um, no, none, none that I noticed at Good. all. Which is a boon. Actually, you know, everything about this co-op experience in this game is pretty user-friendly. Like, when Reiner hops in, despite the fact that I'm, um, well, whatever his level is, if he was hopping in and he was level one, all the enemies that he faced would scale to his level, and all the enemies I would face would scale to mine. So we That's can... That's really interesting, actually. Yeah, it works out really well. It's actually a patch that um, Techland, the developer, implemented in the original, too, uh, later last year. Um, and uh, yeah, it works out surprisingly well. Which the the fewer the fewer um, limitations that you can put on co-op, uh, the better. You know, you know. I always had some frustrations with like Borderlands and stuff, trying to get like the perfect co-op match where oh, our quest progress is around the same time. You know, we're about the same levels. Stuff like that can be frustrating. So speaking of Borderlands, how's the uh, like the is there a drop in drop out? kind of multiplayer so yeah. if you're playing like solo campaign somebody else can uh, just hop in your your game yeah yeah um you know you can keep it public or private um and if you're near someone else you're playing publicly um it'll show like hey you know let's say i 
this part's not co-op, but like if there's someone over here searching around these crates um, in another game, you know, playing parallel, it would it would say, hey, so and so is is near you, um, you know, in their game. Press this direction on the D-pad for them to hop in, and then you know you can just join games, and it's it's pretty fast and pretty slick. Um, so, yeah, I, I, they make it pretty easy. Sweet. Uh, Razor Bits asks how you know, the barricade sections. Pretty good. Um, pretty tense. Uh, not a lot to worry about if um, you know you die. Uh, death penalty is pretty pretty limited, but um, or it's pretty forgiving, I guess I should say. But uh, they're they're pretty fun. Um, a little sloppy, but uh, I, I enjoyed them. Lots of zombies getting killed. Uh, Scott McG asked if they're worth it just for solo play. I'd say so. Uh, I mean, I think I played the majority of the game solo, and I enjoyed doing that. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely what you want, right? Like, if you if you like that feeling of like isolation and and that comes with a lot of zombie games, um, you know, play it by yourself. And then if it happens to line up with friends, go and run around and, and play with friends. Uh, just do whatever you're in the mood for. I wouldn't say that. I mean, co-op makes a lot of it more fun, depending on who you're playing with. But it's still it's still a good time by yourself if you're if you can look past all the uh, the imperfections. Dead Bull with with an eight for a B asked if there's a big city. Henderson is pretty big. Uh, that's kind of like a resort town that gets flooded that you end up on. Um, and there's like a shanty town. Uh, they're not none of those. Neither of those, I think, are as big as the big nasty town from the first one. But they're they're close. Um, but they, uh, yeah, there's plenty to do. You you start the most the the beginning of the game, which we'll see here soon, in a um, basically like flooded riverways or channels. Um, you go around on boats and stuff, and it's a lot of swamp area, jungly stuff. Yeah. Uh, Talon CS uh, asks if uh, how my cat is doing. Uh, a while back, uh, Dan Riker decided he didn't want the cat that he got, and uh, I don't know what he was gonna do. I think he was planning on putting him in a dumpster or just leaving him to like seagulls. Like he wanted to just bind him and like leave him to seagulls in a parking lot. I think it was a, a Rainbow Foods parking lot. Anyway, I, I can't quite remember, but uh, I rescued him and uh, I adopted Macho. And I didn't change his name because I think changing animals' names when you adopt them, unless they're like offensive or super dumb or offensively dumb, uh, just keep them because it'll grow into it. And so Macho is doing good. He's getting fat and uh, he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but I love him. Just like Dan, right? I mean, he's a jerk sometimes, but we love him. Speak for yourself. Sorry, Jason. So at this point... Um, no, I love Dan. Yeah, it looks like someone's dropping into the game. So I just got kicked from my own game, looks like. Oh, perfect. Um, no, he just, he just dropped out, I guess. But I have some skills to upgrade. Um, let's see. Someone wants L to know if you can turn off the auto aim. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of gunplay stuff, but we can. Let's take a look. Um, it wasn't something that bothered me, um, so I didn't play with that at all. Um, might be under controls. Fight type digital. Um, hey guys, if I miss your name in the chat, I'm really sorry. Uh, the colors uh, are a little hard to read sometimes, and I've got everything kind of minimized so I can fit everything in one screen. So, doesn't look like you can turn off auto aim, but it didn't bug me. It only helped me. Um, but uh, I prefer it with consoles, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. I'm, I don't even know what I want to to work on right now. I think extra inventory slots are always a good thing to to gun for early on. So. All right. Uh, I'm not dating Dan's girlfriend, by the way, uh, Clinta. Uh, I don't unless, think that Dan's gonna. Unless he gets rid of her, right? What's that? Unless he gets rid of her. Yeah, right. And okay. then you know, and leaves her in a cub or a cub foods parking lot. Right. Rainbow Foods, Safeway. I don't know where everyone is. Insert name of your local grocery store chain here. Um, so I think what I'm up to now is I'm on my way to a sort of uh, safe house area that's being sieged. And 
I need to save the day because I'm a video game protagonist. Um, yeah. Also, real quick, uh, just really, it's been something that I've been looking forward to talking to you guys about, and I just wanted the uh, the chat community to sound to sound off real quick. Um, and you know, even if you're not in the chat room right now, just to kind of think about it and reflect, uh, if you prefer boneless or bone-in buffalo wings, um, oh, we're not going down that road. I, I just want to know real quick. I mean, I just wanted to, I just want to hear it real quick. I promise we won't bring it up anymore. I'll listen to that music kick in. Okay, there's a. It's a pretty even split. Thanks for exploding chat, Tim. Hey, I mean, I I just wanted to. It's kind of like a a cleanse, you know what I mean? Like a palate cleanser. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, I didn't want to talk about auto aim and stuff anymore. So let's uh, <laughs> let's just cleanse the palate and 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 move on. So okay, we're on to one of the defense situations. Look at that guy. He's having a hard time with that zombie. I'm gonna help him out. Um, I love these actually. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. You gotta be careful when you run out of stamina because if it depletes and you get hit. There's uh, some annoying knockback that happens, and you don't want that to happen to you. That's why the game's super unforgiving for me. Like, yeah. everything's so melee focused, you know, but then they give you a stamina bar, and all of your melee weapons have, um, well, they can get destroyed. Right. Uh. You know, but that, that's just the thing. It's, it's, he's a hand-to-hand -hand specialist, and I'm sitting here using a blade. And so, <clears throat> since he's not a specialist, uh, his stamina de depletes faster for that purpose. I kick a lot, so I can make it so that I, um, I can kick with uh, without spending as much stamina. Um, so you kind of got to adjust it that way. But you know, it's just with anything, any RPG. You start off and you're limited, and then you you play more and more, and you become stronger, and uh, your stamina is uh, more substantial. So, but yeah, that can be sort of a like if you're expecting just an action game, and you're expecting like uh, Left 4 Dead style. Well, actually, even Left 4 Dead has a stamina meter. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, you. Uh, you might want to consider the RPG elements because it's not just an action game. Let's see. And those and those that are eager to, to hop in our game, like I assure you, uh, you know, Reiner's on his way, and we'll uh, we'll do some community play after that. We're looking forward to it. So. Um, Slick Slickman. Very, very nice name. Uh, asked me if um, it's a handsome username. Uh, if the AI is better. Uh, no, not really. I mean, they're zombies for the most part, so that's sort of like a easy excuse for for dumb enemies that do weird things. Uh, one example of some poor AI involved, uh, like one of these barricade sections. Like, imagine a, a zombie like knocking down this barricade, and then they just they're working on it, working on it, and then they knock it down, and then they just walk away in the other direction. That was close. That happens sometimes, um, but uh, it's not a big deal because they're going to be just completely dismembered like two seconds later. So um, nothing too too crucial there. And your partner AI, they stay out of the way pretty much. They shoot some zombies. You have to go help them uh, to knock zombies off of them, but that's not that big of a deal. It's not important. What is important this guy's beard has also got some weird texture stuff. Look at it. Look at how shiny it is. It looks like um, Cisco. Is that a relevant? Jason, is Cisco a relevant reference anymore? The thong song guy. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like Cisco did his beard, and um, you know, it's kind of like shiny. metallic sharpie or something. Yeah, exactly. It's very strange. It's on all versions of the game too that I noticed. Maybe there'll be a patch for that beard. Maybe you waxed it. Beard patch, patchy beard. I don't know. Grab the rolled fences and put them up in the designated spots. Yeah, that'll just slow them down. Uh, it's Thanks. it's Cisco, not Crisco. Robot pants. It's it's Cisco. I think that was a Timism. Crisco would like make it glisten. Yeah, that's true. See? Crisco and Ebert. I'm with you, Robot Panda. Yeah, I get you. Let's see here. Oh wait, there's another there's another horde attack. So we'll get to see some more of this. He is really worried about it. This is how you replenish health. Um, besides, if you don't have a mid pack, use that. You just eat random things off, yep. off the ground. It's awesome. Life lessons here. Hey, get out of there! You don't need to be squirreling around in my fence. What? Oh, I hear stomping. That stomping it was Jeff Cork leaving. Oh, in a huff again. A huff. Get off my fence! 
Oh, I, I want to point out that I like the music a lot. The weird sort of synthy horror movie type uh, music. Oh, I'm a fan of that. I haven't heard much of it. A lot of strings or? Uh, no, synth, basically, mainly. Some strings in there. It fits. It definitely does. And you know, this game is pretty campy overall, from the story to the, uh, the even the way that they present the story, like the cutscenes and stuff. So it, it fits. Uh, it isn't good, but it fits. Dragon Slayer is gasping that you're commenting on a game's music. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what came over me. I didn't. It's one of the few people here that does, and I appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate you, Jason. Aww. Um The nice thing about the... I, I didn't even notice the music in the first game, um, but this one, it really stuck out to me. There's actually a lot of music that just sounds straight up like The Thing, like John Carpenter's The Thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like a piano mixed with like heavy synth and stuff, which is a lot of fun. Um, I think... Did we beat it? Yeah, we got him. Good job. Hey, thanks. I've played a lot of this game, so... If it looks like I'm just kind of cruising through it, um, it's because I totally am. How many times have you gone through like the initial missions here? This initial mission? Multiplayer and stuff. Yeah, because like, I don't know. I've probably beaten this intro stage. Because every time you start a new character, you have to play through this prologue also. So, which I wish they maybe wouldn't have, have gone with that. Um, uh, I've played this probably like half a dozen times, maybe eight or nine. So there's zombies rushing the bridge. This is the weak point. I need to shoot the um, these these cans with a flare gun. There it goes. Nice. Okay. Actually, you can start zombies on fire with them. Boom. And I'm. That seems counterproductive because they're still running towards you. I think. That that is a problem at some points. Is uh, zombies on fire? Did he just start break dancing? Oh, he's fine. What? All right. Oh, I think I see Reiner. I think he was doing the, th the thong oh. song. Oh, here he comes. Reiner. Here's the guy, just in time for a cutscene. Everybody say hi to Reiner. Here he comes. Guys, we're going to bring down the, uh, the audio necessary? for a minute so we can get oh, Reiner mic'd up. Survived. You guys are going to go to no, gameplay. Sit so tight. Get up, you son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 I owe you something, too. Apparently, you've all met. I know what it looks like, but I swear to God, I meant you no harm. That operation was out of my hands. It was Serpo. So who was he? He works for a private concern. His superiors own my superiors, and they're the ones calling the shots. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but there's no way that he- What exactly are they doing here, Colonel? The rumor is they're trying to weaponize this plague for use as a bioweapon. Being immune, my guess is your blood is essential for their research. You knew this, yet you did nothing to stop them. I'm a soldier. I follow orders. Well, soldier, here's an order for you. Go fuck yourself. Just listen to me. I can help you. There's a military outpost in Henderson, and I know the commanding officer. They have food, water, weapons, and a way off this bloody island. Last time we trusted the army, they threw us in a cage. Look, I understand how you feel, but we don't have much time here. This island, it's about to be nuked. Nuked? Yeah, we heard that same story on Benoit. Ain't no bombs fell there. Are you sure about that? This would explain all the air traffic recently. Choppers flying out with equipment crates. That's right. They have to cover up what they've done here. And once they're through evacuating the they're island... They're dropping a bomb? Listen, I trust this asshole about as far as I can throw him. But if what he's saying is true, we, we should We need to get out. out this goddamn island. Fuck me, man. So, Henderson it is then. If that's the case, then we're all coming with you. All right then. Let's move. Only five of us are immune, so some of us should stay and defend the camp while the rest scout for a way out of here. Good. Let's get to it. All right, Colonel. But if you're lying to us, God help you, because we sure won't. You and Hardy don't like each other very much, do you? All right. 
We're Be back, and we got Reiner back. So uh, Reiner's going to burn deal. through the uh, the prologue quick so that he can hop into the game with us, and then we'll get uh, community folks involved. Right now, I am going to continue the quest and hopefully get my hands on some hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons so that I can show people what John is all about. Yeah, John's the new character who's like Wolverine, Logan. Yep. Kind of looks like him, too. Yeah. Yeah, he does kind of, like, a, with a baseball hat and a, uh... I got a shillelagh? Is that a shillelagh? <laughs> yeah, that'll be the reward for this. That's cool. Is that a dance move? What is that? Shillelagh? Yeah, it is. It's also, I think it's a vegetable. I'm not totally sure. As you can see, we each contribute to the team's safety and well-being with our own particular talents. Okay, that's enough from you. <coughs> All right, who's who's selling me stuff? Oh, this guy. Make sure if you uh, go through this part that you take the nail gun from that guy because that's the earliest "quote unquote" gun you get in the game. Um, okay. Okay. Here we go. He's got brass knuckles for me, but I don't think I can afford it yet. Rats. So you you told people I was I was doing something fun. Uh yeah yeah. Okay. They know that you were doing something fun. Yep. That's it. Was and it now fun? I'm doing something. Maybe fun again. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, so, Reiner, you, Reiner was a fan of the first game. Um, he played through that, and uh, you enjoyed it, right? You're, you uh, I really it. enjoyed it. Yeah, it was one of my games of the year. What was that? Two years ago? Yeah. Did you import your character? What's that? Did you import your character in? I did. I just imported one? him. Okay. He's level thirty-nine. Cool. So everyone watching will get a chance to see what it's like when you import a, a character that has like a good a good amount of skills uh, already. Um, and just to be clear, that's the only thing that does import is your level carries over, and your uh, and your skills. Um, and there's driving again, by the way. Yeah, did they kick out the windshield again? Yeah, yeah. If you take too much damage on the on the front shield there, you'll uh, your character will just punch that out like a uh, Terminator. What, what movie is it that someone does that? Oh, and it's Pineapple Express for sure, where they <laughs> tries to kick it and then his foot gets stuck. That does not happen in this game. Let's see. So, I'm on my way. I'm following my mini map in the bottom right here towards that exclamation mark. But do get used to this pulling up your map frequently to double check and see where you're going. It's also sometimes worth just setting another waypoint because whether or not it shows your actual path to your objective is pretty pretty touchy. Um, so you have to you have to check the map a lot. Like for here. That car can't access that pathway back there, so I gotta hop out. And I'm gonna kick this guy into oblivion. See ya. What's the kick button? It's left bumper. Yeah. So Reiner, you're playing as Sam B, right? Is that right? Uh, no, I'm the football player. Oh, you're Logan. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, he is a really lame character. Yeah, it turns out you don't want to throw the items that you spend a lot of time upgrading around the environment haphazardly. Um, it's kind of interesting. I imported a character and all my weapons are gone. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to get any of your, your weapons from the uh, the original game. And and your level doesn't really matter at all either because everything scales. So it's not like you're going to have access to... You know, you're going to have access to to a, a, a broad range of weapons, but it's not like you have a, a, an advantage with what kind of weapons you have based on... Um, what level your imported character is. Also, I should show off, see if I can pull it off from up here. There's like this weird jump kick thing I never really used. That's about as well as it ever worked. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a little clunky, but kind of funny, I guess. Here, yeah, I guess I'll just keep doing that. You see, it didn't work that time. Uh, also, dodging is important. Um, you can kind of jump backwards and side to side. Um, if you get surrounded, so keep that in mind. Wow, that was a good yeah. kick. Really good kick. Hey, Ryan, somebody in chat asked if uh, importing your character gets you any benefit. Other than, you know, your, your levels, of course. Do you um, get additional skill points to spend? I can take that one. It's pretty much just, I mean, well, once Reiner uh, is, is uh, you can see what he's doing. Can, can they see yet what he's up yeah, to? Yeah, I have my skill screen open, so oh, I okay. have all my skills. Um, I have one available upgrade. It looks like I just got that. I'm gonna actually add it. Oh, cool. So yeah, if you see, there's some uh, of those those parts that have been expanded horizontally. Some of those skill trees, um, 
And they're mostly, like I explained before, like group-based skills or uh, that new charge move. Um, but otherwise, they are identical. The core of them is I identical. So <coughs> speaking of skills, I have something to have a point to spend. And it's going to be on, let's see, what should, we, what should I pump this into here? All right, I am beating the living crap out of zombies. Good. Be careful with your stamina there. That'll that'll catch up on you. Uh, I want to put money into. Maybe I'll try this dodge thing. Ah, crits. All right, we're gonna focus on crits. <coughs> so I can't say the fun stuff that I was doing, but what did people think I was doing? Go ahead and list it in the comments. Maybe you getting a shave, like an old timey shave where they have the lather in the the mug. Um, I'm kind of here. That's I clean shaven. Yeah, but it looks like a couple days ago. Well, I mean, it could have just been like you get like nasty nose hairs, and they were just taking care of that. Um, Those are the worst. Reiner could have been ghost hunting, a ghost pup. I would love to be on one of those shows, by the way. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, it'd be really stupid, right? Like, right. Kind of make, playing make believe a little bit, but, but I would totally do it too, <laughs> especially for the people that like buy it wholesale and. Uh, are, are super into it. Just seeing what those people are like off camera too would be awesome. Why won't it let me switch? Oh, there we go. Someone said Metal Gear 5, Dark Souls 2. Of course we can't confirm or deny any of these, but uh, they are fun to look at. Much like zombies that fly through the air. Look at that guy go. Helping hang time hide Dan's body. Yeah, that almost happened. Dan is still alive. We can confirm that. He's upstairs. If you call what he's doing right now living, so we need official word on what happened to Dan. Everybody's been asking why he wasn't on the latest Super Replay, latest replay, and now today. Do we have anything to announce? Um, we orchestrated that. We knew he was going to be out of town. Mm -hmm. We had a chance to record the final episode with him, but we were all busy and then decided uh, that we'd like it better without him in it, with Tim in it. Because yeah. Tim wanted to be in the whole thing. I did want. I did want to be part of it. I really like that game. You were out of town when we started it. Right. Yeah. There's uh. You know. There's work trips and stuff that happen. And so, um, I think deep down somewhere, Jeffum was was really crying for help. And he. I think it was getting to him. I think he was. It was. He was a little rattled from. Uh, from Dan playing. Uh, Playing the uh, role of the antagonist during that super replay. Yeah, he, I mean, he'd never survive, oh, and Fava would never survive in the WWE. No, for many reasons. Um, okay, that's definitely not his 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 scene. No, not not at all, really. Okay, um, so I'm killing lots of zombies on a boat, and it's pretty awesome. I'm <laughs> almost to where we were. Feels pretty familiar, right? It's yep, like in it's the test the test chamber. Yeah. Okay, so basically what I'm doing in my game right now is talking to a guy about getting a boat um, because everything's so flooded. The channels to Henderson, that big resort town, are, are all blocked by water. So that's what I'm working on. I'm going to skip past this conversation. Okay. Harlow's that lady with the tank top. There might be another way into Henderson via a road. So, uh, Tim, did you, after you reviewed it, did you read anybody else's reviews? Um, I read a couple other reviews, but uh, it's another polarizing zombie game. It seems like. Yeah, you know something that I did touch on a little bit when we were streaming this before was, um, or earlier in the stream, is the fact that the case by case uh, experience that people have is so different. Sometimes someone will encounter like every bug possible and things that just break the game. Um, and you know, other times it'll just be like minor annoyances, um, but annoyances nonetheless. And like, it's, uh, it's, it's a real, real case by case. Some people have said that it's a more polished game than the original. Some people said that it was buggier. Uh, I think I'm in the camp that I think it's buggier, but um, yeah, it's a little all over the place. I'll be looking forward to hearing what you have to say about it right now. Well, so far it's off to a good start. There's, this is a fun little intro. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, the boat's going down. So uh, Tesla wants to know if what you were doing was fun. Are you having fun yeah. right now? I was working, but it was very fun and very cool, and 
Can't wait to talk about it at a later date. Mm -hmm. oh, no, you failed that one. I died, Tim. It's okay. So yeah, we can use that opportunity to talk about uh, what happens when you die. You just lose a small percentage of your money, and it's not that bad. And you can actually, John, for example, has this cool skill that you can upgrade where it's like, the penalty for de death takes less and less money from you each time. Um, which, if you're worried about the challenge being taken out of the game, like, it's still tense and like you don't want to lose that money because you can upgrade so many things and mod things and buy weapons. Um, you want the money, so it, it, you cringe every time you die still, but... Yeah, I was going to spend that money on Lincoln on Blu-ray. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can and actually... And that was going to be my plan for tonight, but now that I lost that money, I'm depressed I'm the and I've lost the will to live life. and I think we should just end this live stream. And don't try to roleplay uh, losing the will to live because you cannot jump off the side of that boat. Uh, there is and an it's not wall. deep enough to drown. Uh, oh, this water. Yeah, you can't go prone. It's so like a kiddie pool. Uh, also, Lincoln is probably not worth owning on Blu-ray. Blu I'll come out and say it. Uh, really? You saw it, huh? Yeah, I did. Hmm. It is a good movie for what it is. But did you buy Django yet? Yes. Okay. Well, then you're good. Just glue your Blu-ray player shut and keep that movie inside of it, and you'll be okay. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that. Uh, yeah, I don't get to, with the baby now, I don't get to theaters very often. Yeah, there's going to be a window where that's hard to do, huh? It's like, yeah, until it's a When the, uh, the grandparents can, can babysit. Yeah. Well, maybe you can make some plans ahead of time for Star Wars, uh, you know, Episode Nine. I think you have enough time to plan. Uh, she'll probably be old enough to see that. <laughs> when it, by the time it finally does get released. She'll probably be driving. Mm-hmm. Drive the old man there. You said old man or old van? Old man in the old van. Okay. Dr. Seuss. Uh, so I th I'm on my way to getting a boat. That's what this green, if you look in the bottom right at my mini map, that is what that uh, highlighted area denotes. So. I like that the zombies float when you kill them. That's just a nice little touch. There is some weird inconsistencies though. Oh, did you see that guy? Touchdown. Um, he, uh, so you're talking about floating zombies. Like there'll be a zombie that's on the bottom of like a pool or of water, and then he'll come to life and attack you, and then you'll kill him, and then he'll float. So it's 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 sort of goofy like that, but there are some nice little touches. Oh, he landed on his head. Oh, Something no, he just happened to me. Um, it's traumatic. Yeah, I don't know what happened to you, man. It's it looked I like got you, knocked down a ladder. It was all blurry for a second. So G.I. Patrick doesn't want to miss the stream, but he really needs to get some food. Please go eat, dude, but we will have an archive. Usually get it up uh, about two or three hours after mm -hmm. we end things here. Um, I've been trying to put them up on YouTube as well for better quality. Okay, um, there's my weapon wheel. So yeah, you so can check it out later. Reiner, someone wants to know if your baby's going to be on a live stream? Yes, eventually. With Phil's baby. Oh, and a live stream of urine because it's baby's Phil next gen. Yeah, Phil's pregnant, by the way. Phil is pregnant, that's right. It's very complicated. Um, and, well, I mean... Well, there's parts of it that are very simple, but... We saw that Schwarzenegger movie where he got pregnant. Was that... Twin? Junior. Twins? Junior. Junior, okay. Twins was... <laughs> he didn't give birth to Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure that wasn't an Always Sunny episode? I didn't... I don't know. Oh, yeah, dude, there's Hassie in this game. Speed Wolf... Uh, noted that uh, there's soda in it and I can't read the bottle uh, or the can so that can only mean one thing right that well, it's I mean the license to use Hassi in your game is you know I mean it's astronomical really, right so it's implied right? yeah absolutely this guy needs a Hassi but I'm gonna have to shoot him with a nail gun instead right. the slow motion kills are a little lame especially when the zombies just laying on the ground and I shot him yes agreed <laughs> all right so I'm gonna do this this maneuver when I do that and then sh Oh, I guess not, because I had to reload the flare gun. I really want to shoot this guy. It seems like it moves a little smoother, okay. at least in this intro sequence, than the uh, the last game. And maybe that changes when I get to the open world, and this is just kind of linear. Yeah, I did notice that the ship, compared to other parts of the game, definitely had fewer bugs and stuff. It seemed like a little more polished, but, um, you know, again, it's case by case, so hopefully, hopefully it's a pretty smooth experience for you. Ah, zombies everywhere. Uh, Sparky asks if the fire spreads like in Far Cry 3. While that is awesome in Far Cry 3, it doesn't. Uh, it's pretty contained. 
Um, I'll shoot another flare gun just to show. Oh, I'm going to kick this zombie into that zombie. All right. Let's see here. Have I seen Blood Dragon? Yes. I'm playing it at home as we speak. Lucky guy. I'm so excited for Blood Dragon. Yeah. Are you live streaming that when uh, that comes out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. That's, uh, you, do, you do not want to miss that, that live stream. Yeah, I'm not. Actually, I might. I might just go play it and... and well, Tim, we could do that live stream together. That's true. That's very true. I think... Uh, Best friends. Forever. I, I don't know if there's any multiplayer components in that at all, but we could, we could still just hang out. Um, oh, I should be looking for a boat. That happens to me all the time. I just end up killing tons of zombies and not paying attention to the fact that I need to find this objective. These zombies are brutal. A companion cube noted that uh, the Blood Dragon uh, live stream needs Dan, which is interesting. Dan's been pretty quiet about Blood Dragon. Yeah, why I, does it need Dan? Um, I think that I think that uh, Blood Dragon seems like it's a total Dan game, but he's, it doesn't really seem like it's on his radar that much. It's a rare a show of restraints on his part, I think. You think so? Yeah. Maybe it's too obviously a Dan game, so he doesn't want to... Yeah. yeah. That could be. Whereas I am just unabashedly excited oh, for that God game. Yeah, so. yeah, and the next time you see Dan on a video, if you think it looks a little like Weekend at Bernie's... Uh, no comment. No comment. We uh, can't legally talk about he's that. He's just under the weather. Um, just wants to party. Yeah, Relax he parties with too the hard. shades on. He is. He relaxes so much. He's really good at it. Like if you let go of him right now, when you're like hanging out with him, giving him a hug, he just collapses because he's yeah. just so. Just I think it's just joy. Uh, just envelops his entire being, and he just has to lay down to think about it. Lots of naps. So, yeah, he's a tired guy. I died again. I've died like five times. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You'll chicken get there. bone war. Um, that's the chicken wing war. Uh, you gotta have if if you're having a chicken wing or a buffalo wing or whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. It's gotta have a bone in it. Yep. Yeah. We uh, we were talking about it a little bit. We got a pretty even spread between boneless and bone in in the chat, which. I'll take because I think that um, you know we have a smart and uh, nuanced viewership, and they. Uh, I think that the boneless people have their reasons, even though they're wrong. And um, I saw yeah, a lot both of both are delicious. If I had to have one, I'd get it with the bone. I'd rather have boneless than none. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, they're both delicious. Don't get me wrong. But All right. oh, oh, here we go. All one's right. called a chicken nugget or a tender, and oh. the other one is a chicken wing. I just tried to boot up my Rage or Fury, I can't remember what it's called. And uh, Some dude in chat keeps died. spamming and asking if the game crashes. I think we answered that pretty early on. Yeah, on we did. Stream. There wasn't a crash so much as like a glitch that um, forced me to restart. And Oh yeah, get those guys. Um, and that was very frustrating. Uh, I didn't experience uh, any crashes uh, beyond that. So There we go. So back to the important thing, the chicken wings. The you know, the other thing is, I like knowing that I'm getting a wing or a leg. Like, that little ball of meat could be anything. It could be right. chicken butt or neck or, you know, any any part of a chicken. I was actually able to try the new uh, KFC, like, boneless wings. And they tasted like regular KFC wings or, um, you know, chicken, even the bone-in stuff. It I don't think they call similar. them boneless wings, though. They're just boneless chicken. Boneless right? chicken. Yeah, there you go. And... Uh, there was like some weird like paper mache textured stuff inside of it. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of gross, right? Yeah, I felt pretty sick afterwards, but uh, maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know. I, I felt boning. the same way. Yeah, we did kind of beta test that. Yeah, so we we gave that a shot, and uh, I don't know. It's probably good for some people if you're lazy and you hate bones. Um, and I just like the experience of so eating a messy wing. I agree. Speaking of messy, Trademark asks, steak rare or medium rare? God bless you, because you didn't give anyone an option to say medium or above, because at that point, you're kind of being... Uh, it's cooked wrong. Yeah, you're doing it completely wrong. So I'd say, I'd say personally medium rare in a perfect world, but some places you have to order it rare, because if you try to order it medium rare, they're going to give you like a medium well. It's not a world I want to live in, but it's what we got. Uh, I go medium rare. Yeah, I like it a little bloody, a little pink. Just like your Dead Island. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so I'm hunting for, uh, just in case people are wondering, I'm hunting for an engine for my boat because they need that to go. Um, if I remember, it's over here. So it looks like they reset all the, um, the stats, like blunt weapon levels, stuff like that. Oh, so yeah, here's the thing. Um, another element is that there's individual weapon um, levels. So let me go into skills. At the bottom here, um, those go up as you use specific weapons. Firearms, blunt objects, hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, blades. Those go up, so that's not something that carries over from the original because it wasn't part of the original. So that's one of those other little elements uh, that make importing a character kind of cool. Some, you know, if you maxed out your character, it's cool. Otherwise, uh, it's it's probably cool to start a new character too and, and play around. You know, it shouldn't have carried over. What's that? Hitting Y to reload. Yeah, that's gross. That's really weird. How many times have you uh, accidentally taken a med kit? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know how customizable the controls are. I didn't really, I got used to it, fortunately, but, uh, oh, that guy's gonna start on fire. I kinda wanna check that out. Customizable controls? Yeah, if we get a chance, I'd love to, just to see. Oh, Reiner, you're the best. Let's see here. Looks like there are, there's a left-hand version. Um, that's it, huh? And then. So there's presets, but no. Oh, looks, like, looks like there's, um, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like there are some other other options here if you want to. Yeah, so you can you can move reload around and stuff. But you can't like remap. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Unfortunately, where was I? Just curious. Is it uh, just digital flight? I don't know where I was at. Um, what were we at? Is there just a default analog fight and digital flight? Hmm. I think this Find is an alternate route. Hmm. I check in on Reiner here. I'm going upstairs. Yeah? I'm proud of you. Let's see. My guy's got some sweet tattoos. I got attacked. Who is hitting me? Oh, I found the engine. That's good news. Oh, oh I forgot what I was doing. I'm fighting zombies. All right. This guy's got to go get out of here. What I want to do is throw a propane tank at that thug. Kicking him in the butt. And ruin his day. Right in the crotch! Sorry, Tim. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, everyone. There! All right, there it goes. That was pretty dramatic. I didn't kick him in the butt. I kicked him in the butt a bunch. You got him? All right, good. So I'm curious. Um... From uh, the uh, did the Star Trek game came out today. Yes. Oh, someone asked about it. Um, I was Ben's been playing it. Um, I, I looked over his shoulder a little bit. It's it's kind of some parts of it like look good visually. Like some of the character models are, are pretty cool and like the environments are cool. But in just like the brief time I watched it, I saw a lot of problems. Um, hey, buddy, disturb us in with me. Hi. Uh, there was a lot of problems. Just oh. like weird AI with Spock and. Um, Ben like died at the end of the sequence, but it actually like his his corpse was on the ground, but then he got an achievement and it, he got through to the next area. It was very strange. Um, it looks like it's pretty it's pretty rough. So, yeah, it uh, looked uh, like it might have been rushed out or something. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see what Ben has to say. Uh oh, also worth noting is like we we had, we went and bought a copy of the game, right? Yep. Yeah, and that's you know. If they don't send us that's copies, that's always a good sign. Yeah, if they don't want to send us copies of the game to review or work with us to get advanced review, that's always not the big, biggest sign of confidence. There. Well, I mean, it's not a big property that people care about. There isn't <laughs> there isn't a lot yeah. of fanfare for that. It's it's, it's also pretty new too. It's I mean, from like the fifties or sixties yeah. or something. I don't know. It's really cheap costume, pointy ears. Yep. No big name talent behind it. No. Yeah. Uh, if you noticed, I just uh, threw an engine block at a zombie's head, which is, is about as cool as it sounds. I like doing wow. that. Yeah. I'm, I have to carry this engine back to the boat. Um, so, yeah. I'm taking on the captain. He's got oh, a boss. Is this, look at that sword that they got. That's a very impressive blade. 
Look at that thing. Whoa. You too could have a sword like that, like um, disturbed. This whatever. Guy's just working me. Ryder, you have a sledgehammer. Yep. And oh, my guy moves his head when he uses it. Uh. Tim Groover asks if uh, we're excited for the uh, the new Ratchet and Clank movie. I'm yes. Give it a yes. That's a good. Such deal. a great property. Yeah. Like you, you watch those cutscenes and they're so funny and and well animated that. You, you sit there, and it's one of those games where you're like, how was this not a cartoon before, and how has it not already been turned into a, a feature-length you know, movie? I can't wait. They look, they, those games have such a good sense of humor, too. And the cool thing about it is, like, you know, 3D platformers, has been, they've been kind of, like, diminished. They've diminished in popularity. You look at a game like Sly Cooper, which just, you know, it's just, like, it didn't... I can't remember how the reviews did... To, on that, but like I know that it's not like selling like hotcakes or anything. But uh, you know, maybe there's people that can go out and watch the Ratchet and Clank movie and then realize there's all these awesome games and get into it that way. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I uh, I teabagged the captain. Oof! I didn't think anybody saw it, but then people. Oh boy! People noticed and they took down the captain that way. Uh, hey, give me a rough time. You have your own flourish too. I mean, that's that's your style. Um, Oh, I'm moving around all these positions. Okay. How do I start this boat? Um, someone asked uh, a question. So I'm going to go. Hold on. All right. Oh, they're driving. Okay. So this disturbed person is driving. And I can defend. So we're now in the boating sequence. Um, and now uh, zombies can climb up on the side of the boat. And you kind of have to knock them off, which is... Pretty Always cool. Fun. Pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Get off oh, the God, boat! Get, get off the boat! Yeah. I don't know what he did. Kind of patted him on the head and he fell off. <laughs> did the person that driving the boat leave me? Oh my God. You might have stabbed her? I think they might have dropped out. Okay, I'm, I'm heading to Paradise. Oh, oh, okay. So Reiner and I are going to be able to join up here pretty soon. Wow. Uh, your other friend is pretty cool. Yeah, I think uh, I, think I like him. Oh, this weapon's about to die. Oh, I bit the dust. Wait, no, I didn't bite the dust. I just went down for the count. All right. Would a game like this, like Lost, be awesome? Open world mystery game? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, like where it had like kind of puzzle, like Telltale or um, double find like puzzles to get you into different areas. Yes, positively. Like positively. Puzz puzzletively. Mm -hmm. um, so I need to figure out how to get back. Okay. I think we got to bring this back to the camp. I just need to mark it on my map here. All right, where is that? All right, we're going this away. Uh, let's see. Dark Mighty AJ asked, "How was the Lost game?" You know, it's pretty bad, but. For Lost Fiction, there's some actually pretty cool little things there. Kind of like the X-Files replay we did. Yeah, like before they kind of told some secrets of the show, they revealed some of it in the game. Oh, really? So, you know, I we used to have Lost parties when the show was on TV. Okay, you guys were just that cool. And there was like eight people, so we all sat and watched the played through the game at the same time together. Really? Yeah, it was pretty cool. So it's kind of like an Enter the Matrix situation where there's just like... Which is the best Matrix sequel, by the way. I, I, I'm a defender of, of Reload. I, but. Well, I'm a defender of Enter the Matrix, and Reloaded was okay. What about Animatrix? Oh, yeah, that was great. The Flight of the... What was that one? Flight of the... <laughs> the Bumblebee Jason says. The Valkyrie? Was that what it was called? The CG one, where they start yeah, off and they're fighting in, in the, the uh, tunnel. Yeah, that was cool. That was pretty cool. That was so incredible looking at the time. I think we are almost to the spot. Okay. I'm heading to like some village or something. Oh, Reiner, let me, um, I think either you're going to have to invite me and we can get that going. Um, I'm going to see if I can invite you actually. Let me see here. You sure you want me? People are saying I'm playing really bad. It's all right. We'll get you some good. You're complaining. Some good weapons. Complaining in the comments about my gameplay. Robot Panda said Flight of the Navigator. Nope, that, that was a Disney movie with a kid finding an alien ship and then you hijacking are it. Oh, the Navigator. Let's see. Good movie. I like that show. Yeah. 
Weavemeyer wants me to play with him. That's me. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's in the party. It's it's pretty fluid generally. I had I had good experiences with people hopping into the game, so I just click through all that stuff. Um, what is going on? They're just warning you like story spoilers, basically. What is this? Am I uh, in? Yeah, you can hit back, and you should be right in. Hey, Reiner. I'm in the lake. Yeah. Hey, here we are. Who's that? Is that a game informer person? I don't. I don't think Disturbed is. Uh, they're pretty. They got an impressive weapon, but I feel like. We may want to... Uh, is there anybody that wants to play with us? Yeah. So now that we are all set, um, we should probably invite someone. I, I have some requests here. Why is Disturb just leaking numbers? Let's see, let's see if anyone on my friends list is um, <coughs> in the chat. Why is he just leaking numbers? Uh, is anyone... So looking at the game, like I got Roscoe 1, oh. uh, Roris, Pokedude, and Kyle Gadoken. I don't think anyone says these names out loud when they're coming up with them. <laughs> but uh, is this anyone that's in the, the chat right now? Otherwise, um, maybe we can get uh, someone else from the community, or if you want to uh, just ping me with a request, we'll, we'll get you added. Um, and we can fight some zombies together. Will you ask your friend if I can have his sword? Um, I can try to communicate through jumping and kicking zombies, but otherwise I, I, I don't know what all I'm going to get through to her. I will eat some fruit in celebration of our nice victory. Reiner, if you find any um, like brass knuckles or anything like that, uh, I'd, say, um, I'd say give them to me, please. Brass knuckles. Brass knuckles or uh, anything like that. Any hand to hand. Oh god, there's zombies around the corner, watch out. Don't worry, I'll just run right into them all. It's a good technique. Oh, a nice jump kick move. Mm -hmm. The jump kick was my go-to in the original Dead Island. Starting to get the controls down again after people complained about how awful I was playing. It just kind of kicked into gear. Nah, I just gotta pay attention. Oh, someone said Odd, Odd Low said a Twin Peaks game would be good. I would actually look to Deadly Premonition for that. Well, uh, they were so similar that they had to change elements of the game because they were too much like Twin Peaks. And um, but I think a, I agree with you. It, it is similar vibe and stuff like that. But a good game, like good uh, gameplay, would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, but. Alan Wake is not a bad suggestion either. Oh yeah, they're, they're I like that game a lot. Not as many characters as a Twin Peaks game would probably need to have to, to really evoke that sort of uh, hey atmosphere. Hey guys, wait up. Sparky878 asked, uh, do you have to share the loot like Borderlands or does everyone get their own share like Dead Space 3? Yeah, from what I gathered, there's there's basically independent loot. Um, that, is, that is definitely what I gathered there. I never had to fight with anyone over things. Um, I, I ended up sharing an abundance of items when I was playing with like uh, Jeff on online and stuff. Um, so yeah, from what I from what I can gather, it's it's independent, so you don't have to worry about it. And stuff regenerates pretty quickly. Like you know, you loot all these, and then um, you know he just he just looted all those, and I was able to go and do it too. So no worries there. Someone said hi. Hello. Um. But yeah, so only only send like a request, a friend request, or a message right now as we're playing if you can join us, because um, we want to get a uh, some people in from the community. Did you did you have anyone email you at all? Or uh, someone did, but they wouldn't be able to get on till later. Oh, rats! All right, so this guy might be a problem. Oh, he loves me. Mm. Someone uh, someone said that Outlast is looking good. Um, I yeah, have, really scary, apparently. I've played some Outlast. I enjoyed it. Tim, I shouldn't be leading. Where are we going? Yeah, so just follow me. Um, we're going towards this little red flag. Oh, what are you doing down there? Does that show up? Yeah, you see the red flag on your, in your mini-map? That's where we're headed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got a little sidetracked because I just follow the carnage sometimes. Oh, I need, I need food badly. I'm not going to look at it this time. Cybok X. Um, someone was asking about uh, the the, um, the Shinji Mikami game. Uh, it looks cool conceptually. It's, yeah. It was a creepy, cool video like trailer with the 
the uh, lady with multiple arms and stuff. Like that looks cool, but until I see any gameplay or even know what the game's about, it's hard to sound oh, off. So like the concept of Mikami doing another horror game is great, mm -hmm. but that's all we really have to so go on besides that. So the trailer. Far. It's a nice looking city, dude. Speaking of evil, though, let's party. Let's party with with the devil. Um, evil Dead. Evil Dead's a good good movie. That'd be a great game property for an open world too. Yeah, the ones that came out were just uh, one was like a weird action game and one was like a Resident Evil clone, right? Yeah. What kind of properties? That's that's a good question for people. Would be good for an open world. Licensed properties. Uh, Scrubs, a Scrubs game. The Snorks. Um, My Little Pony. Adventure Time, actually, would probably be an awesome Whoa, game. Whoa, you got a nice boot. Thank you. Yeah, let's work them. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Adventure Time and... Gosh, what else would just be awesome? Kicking this lady's butt. Someone said Supernatural. Mm -hmm. I just want to see a game Oh, of man, that. that would be amazing. I love that show. Has anyone seen Hobo with a shotgun? Shotgun. <laughs> hey. You're riding. Hobo You're my hobo shotgun. with a shotgun. Yeah, hobo I am riding a hobo. shotgun. Uh, that would be a, that would be a good. Uh, I'm gonna just stare at you awkwardly as you drive. It's just like when we go out to lunch and just pant. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look over at me. Can you do that? Oh, uh, you us. won't turn. Just what awkward, is love? like oh, don't, Baby, please don't, don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> hey. Don't hurt me. No more. That's a relevant joke, still, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look like Disturbed is with us right now, so I'm gonna go and see. How we get to the place. All right. Uh, Boardwalk so, Empire, that'd be great. Taking a right Think and about that. right. All right. Here Your character go. arms look really weird when you're driving. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like someone pretending to be a school bus driver. <laughs> like a kid. Yeah. Okay, so the zombies in my game are a level. Um, oh. oh, get rid of that windshield. Ah, no, it's so bad. Okay. Uh, the zombies in my game are level 39. Yeah. We'll see what they are in yours. Um, let's see. Hold on. Well, when we get our next I got to check sequence. and see where we're at. All right. Uh, I'll have to figure out what level I am, actually. Okay. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. That's bing. nice I'm getting experience for this. Yeah, this game's pretty pretty liberal when it comes to, to ah! handing out this experience. Okay. So we gotta we got to take it on foot from here. Come on. People were saying Mad Men would make a good open world game. No, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It'd be more like a Telltale game. Telltale could make a good Mad Men with yeah, like, or do you want to cheat heavy on rain. your wife or heavy rain? Yeah, 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 you know where they're doing architecture. Yeah, let me help. Watch okay, this. so it says level level seventeen for my enemies. Um, I think that's pretty close to what my level is. Let me let me look. So this lady on the ground that I'm kicking her face in. Yeah. It says level 38 on mine, and yours? Is a sev they're 17, and I'm level 18, so that's, that's close to, uh, to my level. So yeah, that's... But that's this, this character here is level 38. Go over to her and kick her. Yeah, she's 17. Oh, wow. So that's I think, really weird. I think they do something really interesting as far as like how much damage they're doing to me and how much I do to them, uh, and it just kind of scales that way, which is impressive. Uh, something that I wish more games would try to do. Um, but... Uh, yeah, there you go. So it makes it really easy to play co-op, which is nice. Oh, how did you jump down there and not die? I'm the best. I have weak ankles. I'm going to use Fury on this guy. You're going down, Buster. Lost in the Damned was such a good game. Yeah, that would make a Lost in the Damned. That game would make a really good open world game, I think. My favorite part is when the zombies clutch for their head that's missing. Dog the Bounty Hunter would make a good game. Okay. See that? Walker, Texas Ranger. I'd play the hell out of that. Yes. <laughs> what about like a Groundhog's Day, the game? Where you just go around and screw around with things and see how much different stuff you can do. And it's kind of like Majora's Mask. So it has like everything's on a timer. And yeah, Alan's Wake. Alan Wake had that. Um, oh yeah, the, the American Nightmare. Time. Yeah, yeah, that was actually a cool. Cool concept. I mean, it, there's, there is backtracking built into the core concept of a Groundhog's Day type thing. But um, it was good still a way to extend the length of a game too. Yeah, yeah. Not a good way. No, definitely not. All right, so we're talking to this guy again. Bam. Bam. 
Samurai Jack is a, is a game, yeah, that's a good point. That just showed up on Netflix too. The Cartoon Network is on Netflix now. You can go and watch like Samurai Jack and stuff in Adventure Time. King of the Hill of the world. <laughs> I would like a, I would like a developer to have like a King of the Hill mode in a multiplayer game, and then oh, when you open it up, everyone is ju you're just in Arlington, and you are all <laughs> King of the Hill characters, and have to like fight with propane tanks and stuff. Falling Sky is that still going? Falling Skies. I like the first season. I haven't I haven't watched it. That's right. There was a Simpsons open world. Yeah. It was right, and even before that, there was that virtual Springfield game. Did you ever check that out? Yeah, that was cool. It was bizarre. My barely my my computer could barely run it, but I tried nevertheless. Okay, what are we doing? I'm gonna put some skills in here real quick. What am I? What am I leveling? Look at on? these people feast. It's like old country buffet over there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh my God! You should go uh, see what it's all about. Kick him! Kick him in the water. Let's see what Get I want. In there. I'm gonna go for it. There's a chance to heal by 25% after each hit. That sounds good. Oh, you got friends over here. Yeah, they're all tough. This piece of shit off me. Wow, you, you just booted all Yeah, right? It's the best thing. I feel like I shouldn't even be hanging with you. You can hang, dude. You're making guys, like, tweak out like <laughs> broken. Yeah, that's right. I'll pick up the scraps, maybe? Not even that? You're just going <laughs> to kick everyone? It's so satisfying. Dude, they're like glitching out you, of my world. Wait, I'm going to kick him into the house. Fine. Yeah, watch what happens on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Look, I, I, I hit this guy in the water and he's upset. Kick him. Where is he? He's right here. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. I can do it from the water. I never get sick of... Yes! I've never gotten sick of that the entire... Ow. All of my playthroughs. I've, I've not gotten this. This guy's got some booze on him. My kind of zombie. Yeah, you can turn that into a malt salt cocktail if you want. Mm. Don Draper would be proud. Draper used a malt salt cocktail. Yeah, he did. That's how season four ended. It was really dramatic. Not really. Jeez. Not really, guys. Get in the ground! He yells at zombies. Seinfeld open world game. Okay. Uh, let me check. Boom. Okay, uh, we are going... I think I might have found a secret. Let me know when you're ready. We have to go find a missionary person. Oh, Reiner. Okay, let's see. Oh, is there a workbench? I found a... What is this? My weapon durability is good and really low. Drains. Did you find any hand-to-hand -hand weapons? Uh, not yet. Okay. By hock, hock to puss eye. Okay. Hock Thank you for, for coming. You gotta leave. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's a very good movie. All right. Let's see if I have some weapons I don't know about. Because my character's kind of lame compared to yours. I, you know what? They didn't do a really good job of making. John is just amazing, basically, is is what it comes down to. Uh, don't feel bad, all right. But for those watching, um, make sure that you choose John. All right, follow me. This is their next objective. Okay, I leveled up, by the way. Ding. Oh, yeah, let me know if we need to take a breather to, uh... There's plenty of opportunities to to kind of hang out and level up while someone, like, your your teammate is tinkering around at a workbench or if you're just or kicking everybody. Yeah. I'm never going to stop doing that. Okay, now you people are just being silly. Titanic. Someone asked how Jeff is feeling about Hawks these days. I you know, we're getting uh, a lot of t-shirt submissions, and, uh... To no surprise, there's some hawks on them. There's one that's just like a picture of a hawk over the Ninja Gaiden, like, Japanese characters. And um, yeah, by characters, I mean, like, l l characters that... Was, what's that called again? The what? what uh, Japanese characters. Uh, kanji? Kanji, yeah. It's over. It's just a hawk over the kanji that say, nin spell it Ninja Gaiden, and it just says, Damn Hawk, <laughs> which is pretty good. And then it says something about uh, ninja, ninja Juice. Which wasn't something Jeff was saying during my, my uh, experience with uh, his playthrough, but apparently that's what he called his... That, uh, that was the thing, yeah. His ninja power, ninja juice. One of the submissions we got spelled hawks wrong. Oh! It was like hawking a loogie. Oh, no. really? H-O-C-K? Yeah, so it's hawks, bats. Hmm. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, 
Someone asked if we, we could do a Shinobi replay. Which Shinobi are you talking about? Are you talking about like the Master System one, or the third one for Genesis, or the one where he's wearing like a scarf? What am I doing? What? Is this, oh, I should repair this stuff. So. I'm gonna go beat up these zombies. You kick them. Okay, they're beating me up in return. Uh, the Genesis Shinobi. We'll look into it. I bet you, if you keep watching replay, we will get to it eventually. I'm just gonna get a skill here. Shinobi confirmed. That is pretty much the line we can give for any game on replay, right? Is eventually. We'll do it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, someone su suggested Jet Force Gemini. I've never even played that game. Yeah, we should do that someday. And I love, I love rare stuff. So maybe we'll have to look into that. Well, this will come in handy. Yeah, good suggestion, Talon CS. Talon CS. There's a lot of zombies down here, Tim. Erica's got Talon CS. Yeah, I'm working on it. Do you have your Fury? You should uh, hold down the B button. Yeah, hold that down. And then, yeah, just start jamming it and throw it at those guys. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Nice work. I'm making the game slow down. I broke it. Nope. Yeah. I killed them all. Boom. Hey, Disturbed showed up. There he is. Right when I did something awesome. Disturbed has to think I'm really cool now. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. You proved your worth. Oh, I leveled up too. Nice. Finish my business here. <laughs> what am I going to level up? <laughs> this one. Are you teabagging every dead body? Yeah, yeah. Just equal treatment to all. Good, good. People are complimenting your uh, killing spree. Yeah, it was really nice, wasn't that, it? That was a good streak. Super replay of Conquerors. I want that to happen someday. Oh my god, yeah. You know, we should wait a little longer until like that stuff's not relevant anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like people aren't even talking about how great Conquerors was, you mean? No, just like the, the references and all that stuff. Because oh. you know, there's like Matrix. Matrix. And, uh, but, there's so, but the thing is, what they chose to riff on most of it's pretty timeless, like Clockwork Orange Clockwork or Orange, Terminator yeah. or even the Matrix That's still. That's true. That's true. Do you remember when that moment in Conquerors, like that Matrix part was the closest we had to a Matrix game and that part was so cool? Like bullet time wasn't like... Why are you guys looking at me? Really widely okay. implemented. Just want to turn. Yeah, yeah, they did a good job with that. Also, Aliens they riffed on. Also that over the shoulder like um, zombie killing part is it was like Resident Evil 4 before Resident Evil 4 was Resident Evil 4. Like, I swear, we should go back and just play through that segment. And it's just like you have like the laser sight on your gun and you're shooting zombies in the head and it's over the shoulder. Like, it was, it, it, it did a lot of things right, which is really surprising. God, that game was fun. Mm -hmm. We can't just sit here and talk about Conquerors the entire time though. Mm -mm. Here we go. Let's see. Speaking of hey, give me that gun. Speaking of open worlds, hey. someone recommended Spider-Man 2. I can get crippling claws. What? Why did they fall on oh, the ground? You got them? Give that to Tim. Oh, they're probably going to be like matched for your level, though. Let's see. Okay, I can get them. I get sturdy claws. What? No. Santa Claus? Okay. Right. <laughs> Santa Claus. Mm, All, right. Good in here. All right, so I got my Wolverine claws. Damn Everybody, what? let's take a look. Here they are. Boom. <coughs> I got them, too. All right, what I'm gonna go do is upgrade the hell out of these because I'm gonna lean on these sturdy claws for a little bit. You're gonna see how na you're just you're gonna see exactly how nasty John gets with these uh, these things here. I found a luggage farm. First, you have to upgrade. Then you can, or first you have to repair. Then you can upgrade. Where are you? And now, can I mod it yet? Did you go upstairs? Um, I went. Um, so I'm inside the base in the uh, main building uh, bottom. Yeah, right there now. All right, so I need to buy some barbed wire, I think, and then I can add some to that. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade my, I can't do these. Let's see, no, yeah, I, I, you can, uh, you gotta repair. So click over to repair. That's right. And then you this can upgrade. All, this is all wonky. Let's see, so. I don't have any barbed wire. I can't buy any from her. Do you sell stuff? Who sells stuff? This music in these safe rooms, in these safe areas are so, it's so just 
depressing. Frightening kitchen knife. <laughs> what kind of kitchen knife is that? I don't know. But you best find out. Probably has like flames on it and skull. You you could make the flames thing happen for sure. You can pretty much set anything no, on fire grab, in this game. Grab your thing. All Jerk, right. grab it. Reiner, I think I'm ready when you are. There. Looking pretty. Hold on, let me see. Pretty good here. Okay, I got my two claws. Some, These claws are amazing. Someone's talking about how Goldberg sucks as a as a wrestler. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna step in for Dan and say if Dan was he here, won he would like say eighty matches in a row. Dan would say that I think Dan would say that Goldberg did suck because I think he was a really stiff wrestler. Like he um, he hurt people a lot. Uh, he would get too too ambitious with his spears, and he would just he would just hit people. Mm -hmm. um, but he won <coughs> like eighty matches in a row because he was unstoppable. Right. So um, he's. Within a bad fiction. wrestler, technically. Right. But he had a pretty amazing run as a wrestler. Yeah, that's definitely true. He was a popular guy. Um, all right. Uh, you, you ready to work towards our next uh, objective here? Mm -hmm. I'm right behind you. Okay. Nice orange shirt. Thank you so much. Whoa. -oh. I'm going to shoot him. I was going to kick him. Watch out. I kicked him. Oh, nice. There he goes. Gross. All right. Um... Shy Hawkward Loser wants to know. I wanted to say Sh Hawkward uh, wants to know if we are MMA fans. I'm not an MMA fan. No, uh, I I feel like uh, I have to like go to class to understand uh, all the different pins and who the yeah. wrestlers are. I'm just so out of touch on that. I watched uh, one MMA match not too long ago, and you know it's always fun rooting for an underdog, and that's basically what I ended up doing throughout all those matches. But. Uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd watch an odd match here and there, but... One thing I'll say is video games are great for getting you into sports and different things like that. Like yeah. If you just pick up like a FIFA game and you just want to start to get to know the teams and who's good and all that, you know, if you play that extensively, you'll have a pretty good knowledge of it. Yeah. Like, that's how I got into wrestling was playing... Uh, um, WrestleMania 2000? Yeah, uh, playing the... Uh, playing the uh, on NES at first, you okay. know, th th those were pretty cheesy, but I got to know the wrestlers there, Honky Tonk yeah. Man, all that stuff, Macho Man. That's a good point, yeah. WrestleMania 2000, and for me, was, was that for wrestling for the N64. Um, you know, you knew these guys, you know their names, but getting kind of like a sense for them throughout the, the games was, was really cool. Yeah, the N64 wrestling games, that's where it really took off for me. Yeah, those were a ton of fun. Oh, I got you. Oh wait, it's a thug. So that means we gotta be careful. So you slash him a little bit, and then you jump backwards. Uh, when it looks like he's about to hit you, if you hit back and the jump button, he'll uh, you'll, you'll dodge. Thankfully, my uh, claws are pretty. pretty Got it. It worked here. pretty well for me. Oh god, I'm getting attacked from behind. Don't worry, I'm gonna come jump kick him. Oh, did you see that? Thank you. Oh. You're truly doing the Lord's work here. Right. Yeah, just take him off his arm. Yeah, he's missing one. Nice work. Oh, I took off his head. Yeah, he didn't need that. Mm -mm. So zombies, they just eat to eat, or are they eating to survive? Um, I think it's just like a broken switch. And that's the way I kind of think about it, is like there's a part of their, their brain that is, is telling them they need to eat. Sort of like if you get gastric bypass and like you think that you're full, but you're, Kim. you know. Oh. So basically how I look at it is like the part of the brain that says that you're hungry never shuts off. So they always have to constantly eat. That's kind of the way I look at it. Yeah, you just said, someone just said Speedwolf66, which is a great name. Uh, they're just gluttons. Yeah, there you go. Gluttony. Not a glutton for punishment, but a glutton for flesh. Uh, someone said, uh, goods, good Sir Murdoch. Someone asked if uh, anyone else can use the claw weapons. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah, I'm using one. Yeah, so you can. anyone can use those. It's just they're not going to be as proficient. They won't be as strong with them, and their stamina will go down faster when using a weapon that's outside your class for the most part. So things to keep in mind. Like I was using a bladed weapon throughout the beginning part, even though I'm not a bladed weapon expert. Do you like my jump kick? Yeah, that was, that was good. You got that person down on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The claws are pretty vicious. Uh, almost as cool as the kick, but... Oh, I'm just going crazy. 
Also, I'm not sure if anyone watching has ever seen Peter Jackson's first movie, Dead Alive. So good. But the zombies, that the, the sounds that the, the weird zombie alien dudes make in that game is like the same as this. It's bizarre. I kick ass for the Lord. That one's Dead Alive. That one's oh, great, Oh, Dead too. Alive, right, yeah. right. Both awesome movies. That's with the priest. Yeah. That character's so good. That custard scene where they're eating. Oh, oh my God, it's so gross. If you haven't seen Dead Alive and you're a fan of Peter Jackson and gross out horror, uh, I think it's usually on Netflix Instant. You should check that out. It's so funny to see where he came from as far as like his his film uh, choices. Because he just came from like cheesy horror, and that's awesome. Yeah, I was hoping like he'd do Lord of the Rings and then like be able to do whatever he wants and have high budget stuff to go back to his old ways but oh, with yeah. any kind of, you know, any actors he wanted or, yeah. or any kind of budget. I think the closest we got to that was The Frighteners, right? Where he just kind of like... That was a good movie, too. That was a great movie. I enjoyed that. It was Michael J. Fox? Yeah, it was basically like um, Back to the Future, except he got kind of washed up and needed some extra money, so he started doing, like, ghost stuff. Ghost Dad? I saw Michael J. Fox, one of, like, his very first mo movies. In the credits, he was just called Michael Fox. And uh, that was class in 1984, though I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. I fell out of the world or something. Slowly sliding down. Did you really? Uh, I don't or did think you I'm fall off the side of the building? Here. Yeah, I died and I'm trying to get back, but there's no way in. You might get killed. If you, if you wander out far enough into the water, I think you might just die. Should we check, check that out? It looks like the edge yeah. of the world is coming up here. Speaking of invisible walls like that, how about the invisible walls in the water? For uh, Dragon's Dogma. What just happened? The weird, like, ghost thing that makes you just, like, bleed. Like, invisible fish that start eating you. Have you seen that in Dragon's Dogma? Sorry, something just happened. Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't seen oh, that. Yeah, just start wading out into the water and you'll see some weird oh, stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it'll just yeah. be, like, bubbling blood yep. nastiness. I like that a lot. Where's this guy again? Someone just helped me up. That was cool. <laughs> this thug is strong. And he's still level like 18 He's 20, you? it says. Oh, okay. I don't know if they just found the average or something. Mine's level 40. Oh, is it? Yep. It's, uh, it's really interesting stuff. No, leave me alone. No. Whoa. Okay, I have uh, this thing built up here. Damn it. I hate getting knocked down when I have my rage going. If we can get his other arm broken, broken or um, uh, cut off, that would help. Don't worry, I'm still alive. You know how much the um, the new Dragon's Dogma costs? Uh, roughly I think it was 40? 40 bucks? 40 bucks? 40 bucks. 40, 40, 40 dollars, says Jason. Jason says 40 bucks. He knows everything. I'm on mic now. Ah! Looks Lego like City on 3DS, I haven't played it, but I like the Wii U game a lot. Yeah. I know Cork. I don't know if, if that. Re when does that game come out? Uh, it just did on Sunday, I think. Did it? Okay. Work at his arm. I think. What did Cork give it? Oh, he's dead. Uh, he's I don't know. The reviews on the site. I forgot. Oh, I think it's like a. I think he gave it like a six or something. It was. I mean, you can go and find it on the site, but it was it was lower. Um, but you know, I actually kind of like some of those. Uh, I played a little bit of the Lego Lord of the Rings on 3DS, and I didn't think it was that bad. Um, obviously, it's hard to compare the console version, but yeah, I think it's quite a—it's a shadow of the the console version for sure. Uh, Pon Pon Sinono asks if I ever wish that they released the original version of Resident Evil Four, which was like Resident Evil Three Point Five when it looked like uh, Leon was like he looked like Squall from. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII, and there's like some weird like black mist stuff floating around, and look more supernatural. Uh, yeah, it would be awesome <laughs> to see that stuff come out. Same with like Resident Evil 1.5, which I know there's like a fan project to remake that, but I'd love to see all that crap. Um, I'm fascinated by like games that change through uh, Alpha and stuff. So yeah, I went on a quest recently, going through our old gold discs. And uh, we were finding all sorts of games that were canceled yeah. or changed. Like, we looked at the first Tony Hawk, uh, an early version of that. Holy cow, that game changed a lot yeah. um, before release. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we have the Madden was that was canceled. We have Thrill Kill. Mm -hmm. um, You're saying you thought that there was a 
like different version of Resident Evil. Yeah, somewhere. there's. I know Capcom at least visited us with uh, before Resident Evil One came out. They were going to use like the PlayStation Link cable, mm. so we got to see like running around two characters at the same time. Very cool. All right, so we're heading back to that little base camp. Um, to hand in that quest or, or, or whatever there. Um, so I'll meet you there, Reiner. Okay, it's, I'm it's, just hanging out, dying. It's going to be the red flag on your mini-map. So just work in that direction. You should be good. And hit select to go to the map tab if you uh, need to get a better sense of your surroundings there. Assassin's Creed for red flag, right? Hey! <laughs> what, what will that one be about? Uh, it was just a red flag. Like, uh, we'll, we'll have to wait Ooh. and see. I'm not sure about this sequel. Let's see. Oh yeah, uh, Jason, is that you that just chimed in talking about Extra Life? Yeah, we're, uh, someone asked if uh, we're doing Red, uh, Extra Life again, and that is the plan right now. We enjoyed it last year. Um, ah, I got puked on. Some guy. You got a baby, you gotta be used to that. Oh, all the time. <laughs> okay, make sure to uh, repair your weapon since you're back. Or once you're back, I should say. How'd you guys get there so fast? I played a little bit of this game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm back. All right. Can I upgrade yet? I'm really not searching luggage very carefully, so I probably passed up some barbed wire along the way. Cirrus asks uh, when we're gonna marathon a game again. Probably refer referencing like our Super Smash Brothers marathon. I don't know. I don't have enough money. We'd like to sometime, but I look forward to the Extra Life Marathon for now. Yeah, it would uh, be nice to get back to something like that. Mm -hmm. We're so busy. What's going on in here, guys? All right, so are you near? Oh, yeah, yeah, here we are. Yeah, I'm eating some fruit. Ooh, there's something underneath the bed. Secret files. Whoa. Whoa. Awesome. How'd you get those? They're just underneath the bed. I just grabbed them. There. Like a thief in the night. Someone Most asked, anticipated game as, as a kid. As a kid, that's a weird one because like I didn't know, I didn't have my finger on the pulse of games like I do now. It was anticipation was strange. I guess I saw an article for Mega Man X once and made me really want a. Super Nintendo. Um. Oh, I have a weird one. Uh, so I fell in love with Tecmo Bowl, and then I saw they were making a Tecmo basketball game. And it was like in an old, it might have been in Nintendo Power or EGM or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it had the wrong release date and it wasn't out. So I, I used to call like Tecmo America. Like, <laughs> When's it coming out? Just call the publisher? Yeah, yeah. That's they, hilarious. They didn't, uh, they didn't have an answer for me. That's awesome. So I was really excited for that, and I got it, and I loved it when it came out. That reminds me, that sort of like innocence or naivete, like as a kid, mm -hmm. it reminds me of like uh, when we'll get readers that ask us to make certain games. Just like, hey, it would be really cool if you made like a Mario Grand Theft Auto game. Uh, could you guys get on that? Like, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, pal. So I told Andy that story when I was getting hired, and he's like, that's the kind of initiative we're looking at for. Just calling Tecmo and harassing them for mm -hmm. a new game. So that's what I do every day. He does. Reiner still calls Tecmo to this day. Um, Asking for Tecmo Super Bowl. Yeah. Or Super Basketball or whatever it's called. It's sort of like that uh, when people will call GameStop and ask for Battletoads. It's sort of like that thing. Except he was honest. He was sincere about it. You know, I'm a little upset about the Link to the Past on 3DS announcement. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm super excited for the game. Can't wait to see what they do. And Zelda's always, you know, something to look forward to. But why not put it on Wii U as well? That system needs yeah. help. I mean, they're doing the they do the cross play stuff with with uh, you know Monster Hunter. The the console's capable of it. Yeah, Monster Hunter. It's like a 3D game with weird control for 3DS, and it works fine. Cover your ears, Jason. Zelda. They could put it on. That game controls really weird. I'm playing it right now with with my friend Chris, and it's uh, which one? Monster, Monster Hunter. Hunter. Yeah, yeah. it's. I'm, I'm not gonna it's a lie. Good game. It's, a, it's it's fun and addicting at some points, but as far as satisfying gameplay, it does not have that, in my opinion. But the point, like, if that could be on there, I don't care if it doesn't look like maybe 100% like 
taking care or taking advantage of the Wii U hardware and all that stuff. If it's just a nice looking Zelda game on, on Wii U that work, plays on 3DS as well, that's all I'll give it to me. That'd be good. Let I'd, me play it on both systems. Yeah, I'd be down for that for sure. They both have two screens. I don't I don't see the problem. Okay, my yeah, that's a good point. claws. I am making my way to the, the next red flag, by the way. So I'm just killing Ooh, You're stuff. becoming a beast. Airing stuff up, man. And I die. Okay, I'll try Ooh. to head your way here. The Goomba wants to know top five games of this console generation. I'm probably, a, personally, I mean, off the top of my head, I can think of Bioshock, uh, Dead Space. Um, I guess I'm thinking of like new IPs, too. Grand uh, Theft Auto 4 is my hands down yeah. number one favorite game of this generation. That's 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 definitely way up there. Love that game. Oh god. The guys give me a chance for my stamina to get back. I I can't think of other ones off the top of my head. Those are I know my my personal favorites so far. Someone's asking when our next Dark Souls podcast is. Dark Souls podcast. Probably when Dark Souls 2 comes out. Yeah. I'm getting sort of a Dark Souls vibe from uh, Arkham City. Yes, yes, yes. Love that game. Yeah, it's a really good game. I'm getting sort of a Dark Souls vibe from Dragon's Dogma a little bit. The new one? The, yeah. Um, Dark Arisen? Oh, Dark Arisen, yeah. Started playing that. I tried probably playing about five or so hours of Dark Souls and, and really had trouble getting into it. I want to give it another shot, um, but it was not for me. Not at the time, anyway. Look at this dumb zombie. Is that a floater? Or a drowner, I'm sorry. The name what? No, he's just floating. There are certain zombies that appear dead in the water, and then they will come to life. And so I probably scary. shouldn't have approached him like that haphazardly. <sighs> You're lucky. You got lucky, man. Man, how are you guys up on this thing? I like the Binding of Isaac face that I saw in the chat room. Oh, God, there's zombies. So this seems just like more Dead Island. Yeah, it's like I don't, I don't know. If it, I guess if you didn't like the first one, it is definitely. You won't like this one. Yeah, see, I love that. See how choppy he's getting? Oh my god! Why is it so choppy? Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. What's so going that's on. a problem. I don't know what's going on over here. Yeah, that's a that's a thing that happens. That was definitely not because of a yeah. kill. That was not for show. Um, Is my character too fat for this? But <laughs> He's a washed up football player. I think we gotta go up here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's this floating red circle thing. What's that one from? The robot. That is Destructoids. It's Mr. Destructoid from Destructoid.com. Never heard of him. Hmm. So I think we okay. got to initiate with this guy. And that's a creep. I need to get something from his heart. It's very I thought he said from his heart. I need to get something from his heart. You understand? Come on, kid. Open the gate. I don't have time. I'm skipping through this. <laughs> Castlevania: Lords of Shadows, pretty great. It is a really fun game. I'll open the gate. I've been actually meaning to go through that again. Um, you getting this, Harlow? I've forgotten like so much Harlow, of it because so. I, I reviewed it, and so I had to play it in such a, a quick time frame that and it's such a massive game that it's impossible to retain no, all of that. And, um, names. and I'm going through it again. It'll be, it'll be a blast. I've also been really itching to go through Metal Gear Solid 4 again. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 didn't do it for me. Oh no! Loved three though. Absolutely adored three. Wow, he's got fever, chills, and the shakes. What's too bad? Shit about this stuff. You need to tell me what to um, do. Hold on. So we're looking for. Let me see what our main quest is right now. We're looking for something. I think there's these like little green highlighted areas. Okay. So I'm gonna pinpoint those, and then we are gonna hop in this boat and go that way. No shit. Tree bark. Thanks, Doc. Oh, someone said Tomb Raider for games this this generation. That was pretty good. Yeah, I think so. 
Someone asked me what the, my game of the year candidate is right now, and I mean, I think the obvious one, like what I think the the obvious choice is Bioshock, but personally, Dead Space 3 is still my favorite game. Drive that boat, we got zombies. I really enjoyed Dead Space 3, so. What's your game of the year so far, Reiner? Uh, Bioshock. Yeah. Hands down. Tomb Raider's really good. Um, what else came out this year? Uh, Someone's asking why we don't do a Symphony of the Night playthrough. I think we want to play that game at uh, some point. I loved Nino Kuni. Really? Mm hmm. Really love that game. I haven't given that a shot yet. It's great. It's like a. Reminds me of playing um, RPGs on my Super Nintendo. I okay. don't know. There's something about it. Yeah, I'll have to crack that one open. I've been actually thinking about trying to get into um, Final Fantasy XIII 2, finally. Fire Emblem, that was good. Oh yeah, people loved Fire Emblem. Lego City, probably not game of the year, but it's good. I think I'm going the right way now. Like I said, Guacamelee was okay. I like Guacamelee. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It was a good, good game. game. Didn't do anything like. Probably not game of the year for me. No. Candidate. It might make a list. I don't know yet though. Is this <laughs> GTA Five is almost guaranteed for game of the year. It, you don't know that. I no, mean, you don't know it yet. You gotta play it. They have a good track record, but uh, anything can happen. Look at Devil May Cry 2. Not that that game had a, a track record or anything. Look at Star Wars. At, at that point. Look at Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Someone described Symphony of the Night as a platformer, which I think is an interesting take on it. I guess there is a good deal of platforming in it. Mm -hmm. um, Super Metroid's a great game. Okay, I think we can go and we're gonna go and jump up into this uh, this tree house over here. There's stuff up here, I think. There's a zombie. So I was asking for our thoughts on Last of Us. I am super excited for that game. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, I think people kind of groan and they're like, oh, the fungus guys are basically just zombies. It's another zombie game. But if we are gonna, if we should give any developer the benefit of the doubt, I think that, uh, that Night Dog's in really good shape to do some interesting stuff with that genre and uh, make it real. I still want them to start a second team and have a new Jack and Dexter. Oh yeah, Naughty Dog. Yeah, that would be uh, that'd be excellent. I would rather have a Jack and Dexter sequel at this point than another Uncharted. If you uh, if you know if you're watching this and you're a Jack and Dexter fan, um, you should. Do, I can't remember what the name of it was, but uh, back when we did the Last of Us cover story, um, there was uh, it might actually be in the Last of Us cover story hub, but we got to talk with them about. Uh, before they started Uncharted, they, uh, Night, Night Dog was working on a next generation, Jack and Daxter, and it was really weird. They were going for like a realistic <laughs> tone, um, and they can't, they scrapped it. But uh, oh, yeah, I went down. Um, but it's it's interesting to read about for sure. All right, so Jason just gave us the ten minute warning. Um, we might just have enough time to go and fight a zombie drug dealer. Uh, might not be a bad way to end it. The rain's kicked in, by the way. Oh, God. Dan's in the chat. Get to work! Dan, uh, now that you're in there, uh, they were asking what we thought about Goldberg or something. Mm -hmm. That was it. And I thought we did a pretty good yeah. job describing we it. We talked about how he was, he was really stiff and he hurt people, and uh, technically he was a really rough wrestler. But he had an amazing winning streak. Yeah. Dan says he's working, so that's good. Tim nailed it. All right. Gave you props, man. I learned that from Dan. There's certain things, like I may have a pretty strong filter for Dan. Face. Hi, Dan. Hi, like capital Dan. You're so much better than lowercase Reiner. I have a pretty good filter for that's Dan. That's insulting. But some, sometimes things squeak through. That's just mean. Make it into my mind. Thanks for the uh, positive feedback on the live stream. It's fun to, to be doing this again. I don't. I feel like I haven't done a live stream since uh, maybe like Resident Evil 6. Yeah. It's been a while. Oh god. Okay, this guy is called Mr. Death. He's like poisonous and he's a really tough uh, main zombie. What's with all these faces? I think it's one of those is Dan. Oh God. Okay, I went down. Dan's the 
hand's gone. Okay. Um, People really turned on him. What are you talking about? With the Ninja Gaiden thing. Oh, really? Did he? Mm -hmm. He was too much of a heel. Too much, too much heel. Some people really liked that, but then there were others who were like, "You know who didn't like it? Leave there's, Dan alone." There's too much heel. Much like a stiletto. And then we just laughed. Dan's like a stiletto sometimes. Too much heel. Okay. Hey, we're we're friends again. All right, I'm gonna follow you. <clears throat> All right. Reiner, you gotta help me kill this drug dealer, dude. Mm -hmm. I believe in you guys. Thank you. And I can feel the positivity emanate, emanating from the chat group too, uh, and all the viewers, that they wanna see this zombie drug dealer die. No one wants to see him die more than me. Oh God! Okay, all right. Oh, what whoa, is whoa. he smoking for? Well, he's a drug dealer, Reiner. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are putting the, the boots to him. Uh, he Put a boot to me too. Dude, he's really strong. Okay, I gotta bail. Whoa. You're leaving the stream or are you? No, leaving? no, no, just this room for now. Okay. Whew. I'll wait for you. Coming. Really, what I'd like is to have rage built up here. Um, I'm almost there. Well, no, I'm not. Someone pointed out that Splinter is a very wise mentor for the Ninja Turtles. That is a, that is a good point. Are you ready, Reiner? Here we go. Yes. He also not only was a mentor for their ninja skills, it's worth noting that he taught them how to be teenagers. Uh, if you listen to the main theme song, uh, they reveal that Splinter taught them to be ninja teens, which implies that on top of uh, learning you know, karate and kung fu, that he taught them how to be a teenager, which I think is really interesting, um, just sort of on a philosophical level, that uh, you could teach someone to be a certain age group. and. Um, you know, it's something to keep in mind. It's something people don't talk about. All right, he's like weirdly glitching out here. Okay, I'm back. He's really glitching out. Let's see if we can snap him out of it. Okay, back to reality, bud. Keep him busy, dude. I'm gonna die. Because I'm about Backing to die off. too. I'm gonna give him a running kick. Oh, no, there was some leg. Yeah, he's glitching out. He's almost dead. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, all right. You got him, right? You're doing good. Just back up when he's mean. I'm gonna kick him. Oh yeah. Oh, we're really putting it to him. Okay. I'm gonna die. He's almost dead, dude. We got this. Ah, he glitched. Yeah, go down, you die. Good job, Reiner. Mm-hmm. We killed the drug dealer. Yep. And Together. I am giving him some tea. So that's you kill the drug dealer, then this is his den, and you go down here, and there's actually a dude that wants drugs for a quest. Wait, where the hell did you Which go? may sound kinda risque, but you get quest. You right. actually can give him a placebo instead. What where did you go? Uh, there's a little den. Go to the right. Uh, actually turn around. There. Go where? forward from there. Um, there's like a I, I pulled a little uh, thing aside. But I'm, I'm going to come back up in a minute anyway. So, anyway, John Morgan is not going to let that drug that drug addict kill himself. Uh, he's going to give him a placebo so he doesn't die. Hmm. Here, let's see if you can see my little head poking out. See me? Um, hey, dude. What? Back here. Whoa. All I'm right. Cool. I don't know it's, if there's anything else of interest in here. There's... Yeah, I got the fake drugs. Got which I can money, give to him, yeah. health so. pack. Ooh, secret files. Yeah. There's, uh, so before we, as we start wrapping things up, does anyone have any other, like, you've gotten a pretty good look at the game. We've been playing it for a few hours. Um, are there any other questions about uh, Riptide that people want uh, to know that have been answered just by watching us play right. for a while? Don't do that. We can't tell you what the next Super Replay is. That's not a, that's not a Riptide question. Come on. You'll find out. Can you vote on who the guest is? No. Is it good? Someone just asked if Riptide's good. Eight out of 10. Uh, it's pretty rough. You see, you've seen the glitches. You've seen the AI problems. You've seen the slowdown. Those things <laughs> don't go away. Uh, you may have a better experience with some of that than other people. But despite all that, I still had fun. Um, I wish that, I hope that the next true, like proper sequel, um, whether that comes out next generation or even if there is another Dead Island, I hope that they fix that stuff. Uh...
standout mods that aren't car car carbon copies from the first game. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't really. You, I only had so many mods uh, that were available to me based off uh, the the stuff I found. Um, there wasn't anything crazy new except that, like you know, you can get claws with barbed wire on them and stuff. So that's cool. Um, yeah. Someone asked if the game is less than sixty bucks. It's fifty dollars on console, forty dollars on PC, from what I know. So it's a little bit cheaper. Someone asked again if it's uh, only fun with co-op or with single player. It's totally different. If you like feeling desperate and alone in a zombie apocalypse, uh, playing single player is cool. And if you like doing things with friends, sort of like a Borderlands style, our boat disappeared, um, then it's, uh, it's not that bad um, single player either. I'd, I'd say it depends on what you're into. Co-op is really easy to get into and um, you know, some things are just more fun with company, so it's what you're interested in. Yeah, I really enjoyed the first game, and this is more of the same. Um, you know, it's not blowing my mind as a sequel or changing anything, but I wouldn't mind more of that first game, and that's what it's given me. And yeah. it seems like more just, you know, a, a direct extension of, of what I played before. Yeah, Reiner nailed it there. And, like, uh, someone else asked if the quests are repetitive or if there's anything new. Mostly fetch quests. It's mostly just a reason for you to be killing zombies and leveling up. Um, that's that's generally what's going on here. So, uh, pretty solid throughout. I mean, as far as f entertainment goes, but <coughs> kind of rickety. Much like this bridge. Yeah, uh, if yeah. You take this, a look bridge at this bridge is the game. It, it's so representative. It's staying up. It, it serves its purpose. We were able to get from point A to point B uh, and jump and have some fun. But it's uh, it's sometimes uh, having trouble holding together. So, um, Tim Groover says, "Thanks, Jason." You are yeah, welcome. Mad camera skills with yeah. a Z. Um, as, as Reiner and I just kind of wander around. Um, but yeah. It's uh, Let's look at each other longingly here to end it. I leveled up. Okay. Hey. hey. You, could, you could look at John and Logan just hanging out. Um, hey. And, uh, Whoa. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Here we are. Oh, wait. There's a zombie to kick. <laughs> Arr, die. Oh, look at that. He got stuck between the door. Oh. And there's your rickety. And boom. <laughs> That's a good note to end on. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cool. That was a lot of fun. Uh, sorry I came in late, but I was doing something fun. Yeah. And uh, they will see you next Tuesday for uh, maybe a little deadly premonition, maybe a surprise. Ooh. We'll we'll have to wait and see. Cool. Hmm. Awesome. Bye guys. See ya. Volume's going down.